Hey, welcome back to Halfway Farms and Outdoors. I've made it back home from my trip to Indiana. And when I'm not mowing grass or working my regular job or cutting hay or any of the other various things I do, a lot of times I spend time up here cutting wood to burn our fireplace. So let me turn you around here and we'll, I'll show you. Well, starting this year, I got four IBC totes, and as you can see, I already got three of them filled up. I'm gonna finish filling that one up. And then I'm gonna fill my woodshed back up on this side. It was full at the beginning of this winter, and as you can see, uh, a little over half of it's burnt or uh, used up. And that's what I burned this past winter, or this winter. And uh, when I fill it back up, that'll be burnt two winters from now the coming winter uh starting in the fall of 21 here i'll burn that side over there so everything's good and seasoned and dry and the sun hits it here good the wind blows up and down this hollow real good and part of it's off the ground so the wind blows up underneath it real good and everything's got gaps in it, as you can see. And the wind comes through here quite well. I do have that splitter. It's not a big fancy splitter. I've had it for quite a few years. Changed the cylinder on it a couple of times. Um, have, other than that, no problems whatsoever with it. And most of the time, I just go get wood in this side by side, get a load in it, come back, split it, stack it in there. And uh, my partner in crime here is Bobo. Say hi to Bobo. Yeah. Uh, he's mostly golden retriever, as you can tell. Best dog in the world. My daughter found him in the pound, so he is a, uh, I guess you could say a rescue dog. He's good with people. He's never tried to bite anybody and never growled at anybody and he puts up with our cat he doesn't try to bite or attack the cat or run the cat he actually tries to ignore the cat <laughs> and she tries to always pick fights with him anyway let's get him in he's uh, he's about 10 11 years old and he likes to ride in down instead of running come on Bobo, let's get in let's go come on there he goes. Parker and crap. I guess I'll stop here. I typically have a road that goes around this top flat. Uh, you can see it around through there and it goes all the way around back to a big field. Well, about a month ago, I think it was, four or five weeks ago, we had a huge ice storm come through here and uh, hit, uh, wreaked havoc. As you can tell, it kind of reminds you, it looks like a tornado went through here, but all it was was about three quarters of an inch of ice hanging on everything. We was without electric for about 
seven and a half days without all utilities for that long. Uh, we didn't have water for about four days and finally got water back. <laughs> so it was interesting. I'm gonna to try to cut some of this brush out of this road. Um, a lot of that is these ash trees that the, uh, around here has died because of the emerald ash borer uh, has killed them. And I'm gonna to try to cut some of this out, just turn it into firewood and go from there. And hey, by the way, before I forget, uh, before I start cutting here, uh, I'm new to YouTube and making content for YouTube. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be putting up videos just like this. This is what I do. Uh, I do have a regular job in the, uh, the mining industry. Um, so anyway, help me out. Click subscribe. It's free. It doesn't hurt you. Just hit that little subscribe button at the bottom. And it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't do anything other than uh, shows my videos up uh, in your subscription list. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Good, bad, ugly uh, suggestions when you see stuff that uh, I could do differently. Uh, just let me know. Anyway, I'm going to get to cutting. So, hey, by the way, people. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm not a professional cutter, I'm not a logger, I'm not a timber cutter, but I have cut trees and cut fire with my whole life. Ever since I could uh, pick up a small chainsaw. Um, be real careful with them. Uh, when it gets real dangerous trees, stuff like that. Usually I just skip them and go to better trees, easier trees. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. 
work of that. It's all good and sharp. Running good. I'll throw this brush over the hill. Load this wood up in the side by side and move on up to the next one. All right. That little bit of wood I cut got me that in there. And uh, I guess you'll notice that that's uh, this small stuff you see right here. That's about as small as I go. And I know a lot of people just like uh, split wood of any kind. But I'll take anything that small and larger because it all burns. And sometimes I just need a small fire with a little bit of heat. And those little sticks does perfect. Anyway, it's good to mix and match. Um, the sun shining on it. Um, that's the rest of it. I'll come back and get that someday here soon. Finish cutting it up. And then cut down where it come from. Which is there. It's not going to make anything. It's got one little limb hanging on it. So I'll go ahead and cut that down. Make firewood out of it. Uh, I have a steel MS290. And with an 18 inch bar. And... Uh, it does real good. It's good and sharp. I do my own sharpening. Take my time with it. I use steels a two and one sharpener and just take my time. No buggy hurry. And I thought I'd just walk around here a little ways. Because uh, it's going to take forever to cut this out. This road goes another, I don't know, quarter of a mile. Around this flat. Here's what's left of a small ash tree. See how these ash trees are all dead? And there's more than I can uh, mess with. So it's going to take a while to get around through there. And yes, a while ago, I forgot my hearing protection. You always need to have that on around these loud machinery. These work real good. So here we go. I'm gonna, I decided to go ahead and cut the rest of that tree down and that should make me a load.
Anyway, I'll wrap this video up. Just a little short segment of some of the things I do around here. Uh, if you don't care, uh, it won't cost you anything. It's free. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below and, and hit that like button. And uh, let, you, let you and your friends know that there's another channel out there. I am located in eastern Kentucky. Uh, I do a lot of outside stuff when I'm not working. Um do a whole range of stuff. Sometimes I do a lot of inside stuff, uh, repairs inside, but yeah, hit subscribe. It don't hurt anything. It's free. Like I said, and hit that like button and leave me a comment. Thank you. See you.